Introduction Hey son, what are you doing? Dad, my teacher gave me an assignment on strategies for enhancement in food production topic but I am not able to understand it. Can you please help me to complete the assignment? Yes my son, we have adopted many of the techniques to increase the production of food. Okay daddy, but what kind of methods? We choose those species which have high yield rate in terms of production of food. Would you like to learn in detail? Yes, daddy. In this lesson, you will learn to increase the food production for humans. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain animal husbandry Describe plant breeding and its type Know single cell protein Explain tissue culture. Animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is the science of taking care of domestic animals that are used primarily as food or product sources such as cows, cattle, goats, etc. Management of farms and farm animals. Dairy farm management. Dairying is the management of animals for milk and milk products for human consumption. Milk yield is dependent primarily on the quality of breed. The following things are necessary for realizing yield production. The animal has to be provided with proper shelter. Feeding of the cattle should be done in a scientific manner considering the quantity and quality of fodder. They should be given sufficient quantity of water. The animals must be maintained disease-free. Stringent cleanliness and hygiene of both the cattle and the handler are very important. Poultry farm management Poultry is the class of domesticated fowl used for food or for their eggs. Poultry typically includes chicken and ducks and sometimes turkey and geese. The important components of poultry farm management include Selection of disease-free and suitable breeds Proper feed and water for the birds Proper and safe farm conditions Hygiene and health care of the birds Animal breeding Animal breeding is the branch of agriculture concerned with the care and breeding of domestic animals such as cattle, hogs, sheep and horses. Breeding is of two types. In breeding, it refers to the mating of more closely related individuals within the same breed. The superior cows and bulls of the same breed are mated in pairs to get better progeny in the form of superior females with high milk yielding capacity and superior males or bull which gives rise to better quality progeny. The valuable breeds of domestic animals produced by inbreeding and selection are number 1. Merino sheep known for producing fine wool developed in Spain. Number 2. Modern races of horses are the descendants of three Arabian stallions. In breeding produces homozygosity, so it increases the chance of expression of harmful recessive genes. The recessive genes can express themselves only in homozygous state, so the homozygosity increases the expression of harmful recessive alleles to produce defective phenotypes. This is known as Inbreeding depression. Outbreeding. It refers to the breeding of unrelated animals, either of the same breed or of different breeds or even different species. It is of following types. Outcrossing. It is the practice of mating of animals of the same breed, but that have no common ancestors on either side of their pedigree up to four to six generations. The offspring of outcrossing is called an outcross. A single outcross helps to overcome inbreeding depression. 
It is the best breeding method for animals that are below average in productivity and growth rate. Crossbreeding It is a method of outbreeding in which superior males of one breed are mated with the superior females of another breed of the same species. This helps in combining the desirable qualities of the two different breeds into the progeny. The hybrid progeny may be directly used for commercial production or they may be subjected to some form of inbreeding and selection to develop new stable breeds. One example of crossbreeding is Hisardale, a new breed of sheep developed by crossing Bicaneri Eves and Merino Rams. Interspecific hybridization it is a method of outbreeding in which male and female animals of two different species are crossed to combine the desirable features of both the parents into one. For example, mule is produced by a cross between a male donkey and female horse. Artificial insemination it is the process in which the semen is collected from a superior male, is injected into the reproductive tract of the selected female by the breeder. The advantages of this practice are Number 1. Semen can be used immediately or stored or frozen and used at a later date when the female is in the right reproductive phase. Number 2. Semen can be transported in the frozen form to a distant place where the selected female animals are present. Number 3. Semen from one selected male animal can be used on a number of female animals. The disadvantage is that the success rate is fairly low. Multiple Ovulation Embryo Transfer Technology MOET it is a method to improve the herds. The steps in the method are as follows. A cow is administrated hormones like follicle stimulating hormone to induce follicular maturation and super ovulation that is production of 6 to 8 ova in one cycle. The cow is mated with the selected bull or artificially inseminated. The fertilized eggs at 8 to 32 cell stages are recovered and transferred to surrogate mothers. This technology has been used for cattle, rabbits, mares, etc. High milk yielding breeds of females and high quality meat yielding bulls have been breeded successfully to increase the herd size in short term. Beekeeping The honey beans are mainly maintained for the production of honey and bee wax. Honey is used as food of high nutritive value and medicine in Ayurveda. Bee wax is used in industry for the preparation of cosmetics and polishes. The most common species of honey bee is Apis indica. Considerations in beekeeping Knowledge of the nature and habits of bee Selection of suitable place of keeping beehives Catching and hiving of swarms. Management of beehives during different seasons. Handling and collection of honey and bee wax. Fisheries. Fishery is an industry dealing with catching, rearing, processing and selling of fishes, mollusks, crustaceans, etc. or their products. It is an important industry for the following reasons. A large number of people depend on fish and fish products as food. It provides income and employment to millions of fishermen in the coastal states. Products like fish liver oil are of medicinal value. Some common freshwater fishes are Catla, Rohu, Common Carp, etc. Some common marine fishes are Hilsa, Sardines, etc. Plant Breeding Plant breeding is the branch of science which deals with changing genotypes of the plants to adopt them to the services of human being. Objectives of Plant Breeding High Yields Improving 
quality characters, disease resistance, insect and pest resistance, broadening growing area. Main steps in breeding a new genetic variety of crop are collection of variability. Germplasm is the sum total and variety of all the genes and their alleles present in a population or species. Thus, the germplasm or gene pool of any crop constitutes a category of genetic diversity, that is, variety of genes, which refers to the intra and interspecific variation that has been or is likely to be used in the improvement of domesticated plants. Evaluation and Selection of Parents Parents are the plants chosen to be involved in a cross to produce offspring because they have unique traits that the breeder wants to have combined in one plant. Cross hybridization among the selected parents. Hybridization is the process of crossing two genetically different individuals to result in a third individual with a different, often preferred set of traits. Plants of the same species cross easily and produce fertile progeny. Wide crosses are difficult to make and generally produce sterile progeny. Selection and testing of superior recombinants. At this stage, we select those progeny of the hybrids which have desired traits. It is a very crucial stage from the breeding point of view. Testing, release and commercialization of new cultivars. At this stage, the selected lines are evaluated in terms of desired traits by growing them in the research field and record their performance under ideal conditions. Plant breeding for disease resistance the disease resistance character are controlled by the genetic factors or genes. These characters can be introduced in a plant by performing a cross between the disease resistant and disease susceptible varieties of parent plants and thereafter by doing a careful selection of plants for disease resistance and crop quality characters from the progeny. For example, an improved strain of bajra has high resistance to green ear disease. Methods of breeding for disease resistance. Mutation occurs when a gene is changed in such a way as to alter the genetic message carried by that gene, resulting in the creation of a new trait that are not found in the ancestors. A mutagen is an agent of substance that can bring permanent alteration to the physical composition of a gene such that the genetic message is changed. Use of mutagens to develop variants that can increase agricultural yield. This process is called mutation breeding. Plant breeding for developing resistance to insects and pests. Insect attack is a serious agricultural problem leading to the yield losses and reduced product quality. Antibiosis resistance often results in increased mortality or reduced longevity and reproduction of the insect. Use of insect resistant crop varieties is economically, ecologically and environmentally advantageous. For example, insect resistant beet maize. Plant breeding for improved food quality. Consumption of food lacking in essential micronutrients can lead to diseases, short lifespan, etc. Consequently, one of the methods for developing crops with higher levels of these nutrients is biofortification. Biofortification is a method of breeding crops to increase their nutritional value. Goal of biofortification to reduce mortality and morbidity rates related to micronutrient malnutrition. To increase food security, productivity and quality of life for poor populations of developing countries. Single Cell Protein SCP The protein that can be extracted from algae, yeasts, fungi or bacteria is called Single Cell Protein SCP. 
SCP has the potential to be developed into a very large source of supplemental protein that could be used in livestock feeding. Yeast is a source of single cell protein. Advantages of Yeast Easy to harvest because of their size, that is, larger than bacteria. High level of malic acid content. High lysine content. Can grow at acidic pH. Tissue culture. The propagation of a plant from X plants in a test tube under very controlled and hygienic conditions is called tissue culture. The capability to generate new plant from X plant is called totipotency. This method of producing number of plants through tissue culture is called micropropagation. Micropropagation enables growers to increase the production of plants that normally propagate very slowly. Each of the plant developed through micropropagation will be genetically similar to the original plant from which they were grown, so they are called as soma clones. Somatic hybridization is the process of fusing protoplasts of somatic cells derived from two different varieties on a suitable nutrient medium under sterile condition. One example of somatic hybrid is pomato, produced by fusion of protoplasts of tomato and potato. But this plant did not have all the desired qualities for its commercial scale production. Did you know? The big seed company Syngenta launched its Agricio Artesian line this year with 800 plots grown by the corn farmers across the corn belt from Colorado to Ohio and Kentucky to Minasta. Syngenta's gene blueprinting program has advanced hybrids with an impressive drought record. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. Animal husbandry is the science of taking care of domestic animals that are used primarily as food or product sources such as cows, cattle, goats, etc. Dairying is the management of animals for milk and milk products for human consumption. Poultry is the class of domesticated fowl used for food or for their eggs. Animal breeding is the branch of agriculture concerned with the care and breeding of domestic animals such as cattle, hogs, sheep and horses. Breeding is of two types. In breeding, it refers to the mating of more closely related individuals within the same breed. Out breeding, it refers to the breeding of unrelated animals either of the same breed or of different breeds or even different species. The honey bees are mainly maintained for the production of honey and bee wax. Fishery is an industry dealing with catching, rearing, processing and selling of fishes, mollusks, crustaceans, etc. or their products. Plant breeding is the branch of science which deals with changing genotypes of the plants to adapt them to the service of human beings. Mutation occurs when a gene is changed in such a way as to alter the genetic message carried by that gene, resulting in the creation of new traits that are not found in ancestors. Biofortification is a method of breeding crops to increase their nutritional value. The protein that can be extracted from algae, yeasts, fungi or bacteria is called single cell protein, SCP. The propagation of a plant from X plants in a test tube under very controlled and hygienic conditions is called tissue culture.